Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on down. This is your Fortescue first grade clash. I'm your host, Nick Neary, here as always with our co-host, Mitch Hardy. How are you going this afternoon? Yeah, great, Nick. It's uh, lovely to be out here at Harrisdale Park, out at uh, Armidale Woe, for the, the big <laughs> clash today between Arx and Curtin Uni. Both teams coming off a couple of losses early on. We're on round three of the Fortescue Premier Grade competition for 2020. Looking forward to this one. The, the goats for mine are the short short favourites, although they're going to have uh, their hands full this afternoon with a very big Arx outfit. Certainly are. So we run through the Curtin Uni lineup. Uh, Thompson Cross, Russell Keegan, Quinton Hay will be in the front row this afternoon. Tomoki Ogawa, Lachlan Costello will be at Locks. Austin Connolly at six. Seb Thorgerson at seven. Val Legaya, big unit from Melbourne at number eight. Tommy Chadwick at number nine. Nicky Suckling at ten. Nick Chadwick, 11. Liam Beckler, 12. Robbie Fulton, the captain at 13. Ioni Wright at 14. Alex Clemenhouse at the back in 15. Beautiful, and then as Curtin takes the field now, we've already got arcs out there. I'll run you through the arcs. Up front, we've got Kevin Pauli Fiu, Hooker, Anthony Russell, Salu and Khan up there as the other prop. In the second rows, we've got Harris Tukanawa, Tony Wright. Then on the flanks, Josh Upson and Leono Toby. At number eight, Levi Arby. And then we go to the backs, Andrew Robin and Will Joby your halves. Then on the left wing, Scott Wright. In the centres, Regan King and Neil Avai. Then right wing, Adam Sunderland, and up the back, Jacob De Beer. So as both teams take the field now, Mitch, a couple of key matchups today. Yeah, absolutely. Number 12 for Arcs, Regan King. He's going to have to steer his team around the paddock this afternoon. He's going to be a real handful, as will obviously the back row of Josh Upson and Leighton Toby with big Levi Avai rounding out this big forward pack for Arcs. So it's uh, coming up a bit of a poor performance last week against Netherlands, so Arcs will be looking to move the ball wide early, try and capitalise and overmatch this small curtain uni pack. But uh, you can't write the goats out. They had a great win this afternoon in reserve grade. Um, so they're on a bit of a roll, the goats, and we'll have to yeah, see what they can dish up this afternoon. Exactly, yeah. A couple of the clouds are gone. Look like we're in for a rainy afternoon yeah, here, but by looking at the radar and up on the sky to the right, uh, could get a couple showers, but it's just a little bit windy, a little bit overcast. Uh, it should be a good time for some Premier Grade rugby out here this just afternoon. Big one for me on Curtin's side, Robbie Fulton, the captain. He's going to make some piercing runs up through the middle. Uh, certainly going to be a piece of uh, set-piece dominance by either team this afternoon, but I think he's going to shoot up the centres when Curtin get the chance. As a kick-off, lost forward there for the first play of the game. Nice call there by Michael Ward, your referee this afternoon. <laughs> Michael we Ward. Pre game chats? Yep, thank you. you got the in his right? first year of Premier Grade refereeing, he's come through the ranks. Hales from Perth Irish. Been refereeing the junior ranks up to the seniors the last couple of years. Uh, I've been hands on with him myself, actually, a little bit. Mitch, he's a handy young ref with a long future ahead of him. Yep, he's going to have to keep these two teams apart this afternoon. As the first scrum goes in, heavyweight scrum first up. Eight picks, nine feeding out straight away now. Nice centre field clash up for Arcs. As we said on our Levi clearing. Then field will gets that across to Pauli Fiu as they make their way up towards the 22. Curtin with a lot of line speed coming up, have to check off. And that one a collapse ruck there. So we'll have a turnover. So second scrum of the day one, that was a physical first scrum up. As you see now, Tom Chadwick ready at the tunnel. Heads out, sunning there. Nick Chadwick just tied up in the contest. 
Just chipping over the top. Really nicely there. done by Tom Chadwick. On this left wing, number 11, it's a real live wire. Got some genuine jet shoes if he's able to get into space. And uh, his brother Tom then regathered, grubber through. Um, uh, managed to regather up there. Now we've got to scrum up for arcs. Boys, Tommy Tepwick, uh, he usually plays in the back row. He's a really good number seven, so it's a good move by the Goats to put him in at number nine, bolster up their defence, and uh, hopefully be able to do a little bit of tackling and filtering around the fringes. Harry's hands. Yeah, yeah. That's Harry's hands. Oh, he's yeah. passing too bad. He yeah. his, his delivery last week against Joonlop was pretty good. So he's uh, transitioned to halfback. He's certainly the right stature. And he's a feisty little bloke too. So Arks with the feet. King up out. through the middle. Ball now for Job. Inside ball to Tony Wright. Just a little bit flat arcs, decide to clear with the kick. Chadwick with a bit of room now. Bit of a poor chase by arcs here, a bit slow on the uptake. Nice piercing kip from Curtin deep in the half. Arcs choosing to not go out. That's a that one, number five. Gets a good little offload. Robbie Fulton carries now to the Goats, settling things down. That'll be Aiga. Checks left, goes back right. There's your captain, Fulton. Oh, a little forward pass. He was away too. Little holes in and around the fringes there. It was good movement by the Goats that time. Alex Kluinghouse thought he was away. Just a little bit untidy early on. Probably a nothing kick from Regan King earlier on. It probably just needs to be a little bit more tactical and where they want to position this ball. Nelly Ave in number 13. He's going to be a handful if they can get him the ball a little bit more. Just trying to exploit the either side of Fulton because it's not going to be easy to get through Fulton's channel out there this afternoon. They're going to have to go around him or maybe go back through that 10 channel. game this afternoon being hosted by the Arts Club, Armadale, Rolvey Stone, Kelmscott, uh, out at Harrisdale Park these days, which is a lovely little pavilion and good setup for the club. Lots of juniors out this way as well. Under-18s had a win earlier today. Fine. So some bright young talent Set. coming through out in the southeast of Perth. That would be Job. Skip pass now. Makes its way out to De Beer. Nice tackle by the captain, Fulton. King. Job. Plenty of forwards out wide here for Arks. A little bit of space. That'll be a Vay. Sides to run his two. Oh, oh, bang. Fulton. Oh, good ball. Fulton with a crunching hit to force that free. Numbers Still. out here on the right for Arcs as they swing it. Yeah, lots of Manage momentum to take advantage here. That there, Sunderland all the way to the corner. Arcs will be in Sunderland for the first try of the afternoon after the line break. Nice yeah. little patches of defense there by Curtin, but a couple of, you know, a couple of too many out wide for Arcs there, that's for sure. Yeah, it was a lovely little break up on the left-hand side touchline there. Levi of A, the big unit, got a nice little offload and what a crunching tackle by Fulton. But they either get the ball away, and then it was just a case of numbers to the right, and it was a nice long pass. Not the easiest to, pass. Yeah, out to Adam Sutherland, and he uh, he did the rest by dotting it down over in the right-hand corner. So, Arks open the scoring for this afternoon, and Curtin have really got to tidy things up. They've got to make those first up hits, and Arks' intentions earlier on to try and move that ball wide have paid off for them. <laughs> so, Scott Wright, still with the kicks to come. Right, 
there's not much breeze to speak of at the moment this afternoon. If anything, he's probably pushing this into the breeze. Now oh, that's a good kick. Nice little connection there. So seven points to nil. Fortescue Premier Grade match of the day. Arc first Curtin University out at Harrisdale Park for our round three competition. Both teams coming off a couple of losses in the first couple of rounds. Big Levi of A. Big size of the man out there. As well as Kevin. Palau Fui. He's also a massive unit. Certainly no stranger to size. Has been the Arcs lineup over the last few years. Yeah, I reckon that number three out there, I reckon he's a dollar fifty. Yeah? yeah? He is massive. I reckon his cards are as big as my two legs together. Livey restart here. That one's over the top. Almost recovered by Kurt and lost forward though. In. And now Arcs. Looking to bustle their way out. That'll be Josh Upson. Penalty advantage now coming Arcs way. They're going to use the space once again. Plenty of speed out wide for Arcs, making their way up to halfway. Hands are good. Gets the ball off Scott Wright. And now Levi. Avai gets locked up once again. Did well. Curtin all over the ball. Not releasing there. Yeah, for Gerson that time. Got over the ball nice and early. Had a little bit of help from the number 14 for the Goats. And Curtin, jolly on the spot there. But again, Arcs, plenty of room up on that left-hand side touchline. I think it was Ovey that showed a pair, clean pair of heels to get away there. And Wright unlucky not to capitalise. So yeah, Curtin nice. take play just inside the Arcs 22. They have a pretty tall line out. You'd like to think that they should be able to retain their position. I don't think they'll have much opposition in the air, but we'll see how we go here. Definitely saw in the second grade clash this afternoon. A lot of off the top ball from Curtin. And it'll be the same story here. Advantage, back lines up early. Nice pick early on by your referee. So Curtin settling now. Five out from the line. Show and go once and we'll have offside penalty coming back. All the back line. Kurt looking to go quickly here. Costello, no. Decision time now for Kurt. Big Val Lagaya. I think we already know what my call is. I'm going to take the points. Get on the. Yeah, it's beautiful. Get on the board, that's guys. what we like to see. Board. Seven three. That's always a beautiful score in the first ten. Yeah. Well, it's the first visit to the twenty-two for the Curtin team. Points and. Alex Clearinghouse is just going to step up and hopefully knock this one over. Hopefully doesn't do a John o Lance and stuff it up, stuff it up from in front. Two off the post last <laughs> night. <laughs> got a charge down. Another charge night. down. Yeah. That was the second one. Wow. Don't need your full run up right in front. That's for sure. So Clearinghouse steadies. Just off centre. No problems at all knocking that one over. So, Arc 7, Curtin Uni 3. The Goats are on the scoreboard in this Fortescue Premier Grade match of the day. Arcs out here at Harrisdale Park. They're well supported by a number of sponsors. Survival Supplies Australia, CD Dodds. President, President Alan Wood played earlier today. That's a good start for the co club, Coach Paul King. Nice little kick off. Will it go to 10? Probably not. Oh, I would have let that go. Let that go. Could have gone and bounced over. Just a little bit of smarts needed there from the arcs. Yeah. Absolutely. And I'm sure those boys back themselves in for the tackle, even if it did make the 10. Yeah. That was Harris to a Karina. That time just could have just let that ball bounce. It would have probably bounced over the 10 metre and they could have played on. So bit of dumb footy there by the Arcs players. So Curtin Uni, the Goats with a good centre field scrum here. Tom Chadwick to feed. Look for Kluwenhaus to take it up the blind here. 15. Nice steady scrum midfield. 
Curtin chooses to pick right. Chadwick goes himself, gets wrapped up heavily. Ark's got to be careful here. Yeah, penalty coming straight off feet. Ark's arriving players. Red hot, red hot. Just a little bit lazy there from Ark's. Didn't need to go too hard at the ball. That'll be a penalty. Yeah, Michael Ward. Just that time, I don't think it was uh, the player rolling away. Nick, do you reckon? Or hands? He's hands, the hands, straight off feet. Right was yep. called out of the contest, went again. It looked like that time that Selwyn Carney had mm. just flopped in over the, the tackle situation. Now Obviously Kluenhaus. then got a little bit of uh, a hand in there, and that's a nice little nudge by Kluenhaus. About 10 metres out from the Arcs goal line, so Curtin on their second visit now. Down to this end of the field, so good first line out by them. Now if you're Arcs here, you know Curtin are going to go off the top quite a bit today. Do you risk dropping one or two from the line and put them in the back line for a big hit up? Well, I think you've got to, you can't rule out them having a crack at the driving ball, but we've got uh, the number seven, the Gerson, yeah, he's ball. out here in the midfield. Oh, strong run by Ove. Legaya, sorry, it is Legaya. Yeah, yeah it's spin, short. hit the old hit and spin. Russell Keegan, very close. Got to be careful of the collapse here. So now, Suckling. Shows and goes himself. Just too short of the line. Your captain, Robbie Fulton, calls it back the other way. Doesn't want a piece yet. Ogwa. Held up there, Ogawa. And another penalty. So they're going to have a quick tap. Oh, no, no, no. Just settle things Ward down, guys. Have a look. Oh. Just needed the mark. Michael Ward, just a little bit slow giving him the mark there, Nick. Very important the referees get that mark early so that there is the opportunity to do a quick tap. And the scrum goes. Oh, I would be a fan of 6-7 at the moment. Yeah, the first scrum was okay. And the number was eight. a weapon in the second grade clash as well. Maybe they think they know something here. Yep. Thompson Cross is holding his own up front at the moment. Number one for the Curtain Goats. Legaya, it's dead set on for him to go to the right here and see if he can crash over. Everyone's stacked, all back stacked to the left. Good stable base once again. Straight down. Down she goes on this side, on the loose head side for the goats. Obviously a big size advantage for Arcs this afternoon. A couple of big units up front. Got to make sure they stay square if they're going to attack Curtain scrum though. That's it, the curtain scrum, they're going to want to get low here as well. The more you make those big props from Arcs bend down, the harder it is for them to push and stay on their feet. It's looking for a really nice low quality position here. The curtain University's Goats, a lot of people's favourite second team. Everyone loves the Goats. Come through the ranks of Perth Club Rugby, they've got a proud history. Both these clubs came from the suburban ranks into Premier Grade. So this is their second year in Premier Grade, Curtin Uni. And certainly have built a good social uh, atmosphere at the club. They're going to attract some new players to the game. Uh, and certainly got a great base there at the university uh, over in Curtin, at Curtin University. It's a really good base. They've got a good setup there. They've got uh, Daryl Prince, the coach, and a couple of club stalwarts, and Paul Hollick. Tommy Parker as the assistant coaches. As Chadwick now gets it out. Good shot there. Oh, it's Fulton. Goes inside himself. Oh, just lays it oh, off. Oh, bats it on then. Try to nick Chadwick. Referees let it go. Oh, and he's going to take it all the way around and sticks it under there the dot. Go. What a great little palm on by Kluenhaus then. Kluenhaus didn't think it was knocked forward, stayed alive, knocked it, forward, uh, knocked it backwards, I should say. All the way out to Nick Chadwick on the wing. Yeah, Fulton it was. He sort of just got the little offload, but uh, went to ground. It wasn't a knock-on. And Kluwenhaus just being able to tap it on. And Nick Chadwick, very smart play by him to take it around underneath the sticks. Makes it a little bit easy for his kicker. Now gets a nice one in front where he could have been kicking it from the touchline. So the curtain goats and knocks it over. Kluwenhaus pops that one over. And the goats have hit the front here. It's 10 points to seven. As one try apiece. Cloud starting to roll in with a bit of wind and rain now as well. The 
front camera's just flown over. <laughs> Won't be seeing our pretty faces for a few minutes. That's all right. Yeah, it's pretty wild weather in Perth this week with the, the rain coming and going. It's just one of those days. It's going to make things a little bit slippery out there for the players this afternoon. Scott, you got one. As Arcs get ready for a restart. We can go out to left for everyone watching at home. Yeah, good carry by the Gerson. Takes it out. Ten meter line. Ooh, well, way that one getting taken with the wind a little bit there. Yeah, you get got to use a couple hands, Kurt. Just lost forward. Sloppy play, yep. Uh, we'll have a scrum. Just going to have to adjust their game slightly in this weather. The wind's really picked up. As this bit of weather just blows in. The centre should field scrum to arcs. So that time, Tommy Chadwick just not adjusting his pass and Cloyhouse being a little bit wide on him. There's arcs. It's a good scrum feed here. Regan King on the right, number 12. Joe on the left, and they'll go left. Ooh, Handy out the back. the back. Nine, got a bit of work to do there. Oh, Ooh, stripped, stripped away by Legalia. It's a good tackle. Kurt, don't want to rush themselves here. And they do. Referee just Ward just sensing a bit of a knock on there. Certainly a day I don't miss being out in the middle, uh, refing Mitch. Don't miss being out in the middle playing on a day like this, especially as a winger, Nick. Yeah, there's not much to do for you out there, is there? It's a bit cold and lonely on the wing on a day like today. Nick Chadwick, there's not much of him out there. No. He's already shivering, I think. <laughs> He's already got one try this afternoon. So arcs, another attacking opportunity. I think they might look to pick blind as well, a little bit safer. Hey, to Iowa goes. And now, arcs seemingly just want to go with the one pop ball. Not trying to test things in these conditions so far. King says a bit of a show and go. He goes straight through. Out of one, out of two. Little grubber ahead. Foot race now. Clewinghouse oh, gets it across there goal. and tidies it up. Puts it dead. Sandalin couldn't just quite catch up to that one. So Regan King just absolutely stepping through the midfield there of the Goats. Had support outside him, was unable to link up, so he put it on the toe. But Clewinghouse was able to mop it up, put it dead, so... Arcs now with a five metre line out. No guessing what they probably try and do here with such a big pack. Oh, absolutely. Just goes over the back. Second pod, hard call in the rain. Oh, go through. Here we go. This is a big foot race now. It's going to be De Beer for Curtin. Slinks one. Now Fulton lines him up yeah, midfield. No way through Fulton. One. Chadwick throws himself into it. King slips through a vague. Joe wants the ball right. Gives nicely. Still numbers here for Arcs. Big forwards on the right. Just dicing through here. That's a big jog up Josh Upson. Really nice ball running here by Arcs. Need to keep their support getting around themselves though. Can't get isolated out here. Joe, inside check. Really big line speed by Curtin. Just gets shut down, kick, charge down. Suckling manages to secure the ball to ground. Mark's still with it though. 
Bit of a disruption counter. Arc, Arc's got to use it real quick. Steady up, steady up, steady up. Just managing to break one, two. That's a bye. Turnover. For Gerson that time for the Goats. Gets the turnover. Magaya. Nice to the ball to Chadwick. Chadwick gets it off to his brother. Can't handle it. Now Arc's back with possession. Doing well to stay in the field of play there. So as the rain continues to tumble down here at Harrisdale Park, Curt and Uni Goats up 10 points to 7 at the moment. We're about midway through this first half. They're going to have to adjust the game, both teams, in this wet weather. The nines are going to have to play a key role, make sure they use their forwards to get some good front football. The tens are going to have to be a little bit more conservative. So this will be Robin, Job, King, touched ball. All right, the tie on. Almost on it. house. Got to sort their line out. Be Chadwick feeding out nicely. And lost forward once again. We'll have another scrum. You hear that one all afternoon now in these wet conditions. Yeah, Gawa at time not being able to handle the ball. Black 11. Black 11. So another scrum, we've had quite a few this afternoon already. Number nine for Arcs, Andrew Robson, he's been busy so far this afternoon just trying to get some sort of momentum in this game. Arcs have been a little bit directionless off some good phase ball. They just need to go back to some simple up the middle stuff. Use their centre pairing of Avey and King. Hits the knees, Let's go, go. Our ball. Comes out clean for the arcs. Looking for territory now. Nelly here, go turbo. Got time, got time. Go time. house. Takes his time. Ooh, shanks that one a little bit, but it finds touch safely nonetheless. A bit of a hack that one. Yeah. <laughs> Took his time with it, gathered it, and just hacked away at it. But uh, Klumenhaus has had pretty good field position so far. He's had been a busy afternoon for him in the first 20. Getting involved. Back. I'd like to think the Goats should attack this arcs line out. Probably try and put someone up at the front. Austin Conley at the front there. You know, number six. He's good in the air. Going to locate another footy. That one's kicked into oblivion, the shank apparently. <laughs> Probably landed on top of the clubhouse here at Harrisdale Park. And uh, Conley at the front, spoils, gets it away. Robson, a little dart from him. Handy little run, Ray Robin. Enough support comes as well, pick and drive. Now, Robin to Job. Long pass in the wet. Good check inside for Avai. Gerson again on the ball. Didn't quite get it up though. And just a small knock on there. So two good runs from the Avai boys. Yeah, that's Josh Upson just displaying his dissatisfaction around the knock on. Can't get too mad at knock-ons in the wet today. It's going to be a long afternoon for yourself there. This is where Arcs just got to be careful. They've just got to make sure they convert mm. from these opportunities they've had. They've been able to string a, a number of phases together at the moment. They've been a bit messy. And Curtin University Goats are hanging in there, and they're up 10-7 in our Fortescue Premier Grade match of the day. Ooh. 
nicely out for Suckling. Chadwick lines one up in the middle of the field. Nice down by Fulton to pull off the Jackal attempt. Oh, nice contact in the midfield there. That one was big Anthony Russell, I believe. And he's caused a turnover. That's a really nice tackle in the end. Twenty-one, sorry, that was uh, so Khan. Khan yeah. yeah. Nice first up hit, managed to wrap him up on the floor. It's now Arx, another golden opportunity, as we wait for Michael to tie his shoelace. Usually a front row that goes down to tie the shoelace. It's not the referee, Nick. Uh, he's had enough of scrum time too. <laughs> I think uh, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a scrumathon this afternoon, but the Arx boys, they'll be up for it. Looking good so far though. So centerfield scrum, King out here on the right. Parks have gone the 3-3 split. Levi of A, he should pick this one up and have a dart. Try and link with his namesake Nelly out on the 13. Regan King, dangerous player. He's a skipper today. Russell Burgess out injured at the moment. He's sitting on the bench this afternoon. Normally the skipper for Arcs. Regan King's stepped up looking after things. Nice contact. Arcs, tricky pick off the back. Decide to go blind. Ooh, good double wrap play. With a little of I linking up with Big of I. And another little knock on again. Nelly of A just getting out of a couple of would be tacklers there. Mm. Just as he's rather came through phase there, go. Just <laughs> yeah. Another knock on and we'll have another scrum. Deja live for as a front rower, just one scrum after another. The you get the ball out, the backs drop it, and you go have another scrum. Yeah. Stop gives backs a bad name. <laughs> I don't think you, I've seen your highlights, Mitch. I don't think I've ever seen you knock a ball on. No. They well behaved out there. They, they don't make the highlights real, those ones. <laughs> so, Curtin Uni looking to get out of town, and they send the big unit, the gay up. Gets the ball outside the 22. And now Curtin got to think what they want to do with the ball here. Going back Pockets in the 22. Oh, no. It's outside the 22, Riff. That was outside. Get out the ball. Yep, and we'll bring it back. Oh, it's just, just again, swimming house there, just rushing his kick. And, you know, it was well outside the 22. hope it's not asking too much as well for that little bit of awareness from Agaya as to take the contact on the 22, stay inside there. Yeah, but also, you know, you've got a bit of a breeze behind you with that weather that's come in. Now Arcs with the line out, finally win one. <coughs> Looks like they're just going to want to rumble this one, get it closer. Not a bad option in the wet. Look for Avaya to come back to the right. Penalty advantage, no clear release. And sorry. Yeah, to Gerson that time. Not listening for referee Michael Ward's call to get the hands off it. And he's been trying to get those pilfers this afternoon for Gerson, but he just needs to get his timing right and get the ball up. And we're going to have a tap and go here. Plenty of options for the arcs. Probably run it through the big units. So, Settling now, midfield in the 22. There's big Paulie Foo. Wasn't a quick run, but it was a good run. Arcs just need to be set careful, securing the ball still. Curtin. Need to be careful here now, getting towards the danger zone. Big Paulie Foo goes again. Just bustling through, half metre short now, Curtin. Really under pressure here. Make sure they don't give away a penalty as well. All kinds of messy here now. Decide to go to the backs. Just a run by himself, Robin. Forwards going to have to line up themselves again. Hooker, not quite. 
This time now, Avea goes to ground, secured nicely there by Upson. Oh, and there's the penalty. So it'll either be a card or a team warning here. Michael Ward wants a chat. I think just a team warning. That's only two in the red zone here. Yep, that's just a team warning. So good patience there by the Arcs team. Andrew Robson, the nine, just drilling his forwards. Lots of picks and goes, lots of one outs. And the scrums are cool. Yeah, but the curtain go goats held strong there. Mm. So the Arcs will be looking to convert here. They really need to get these points while they've spent some time inside the, the curtain uni 22. You're going to get a lot of opportunities this afternoon, but it's hard to convert. I don't know. Yeah, Ave just needs to pick and go and head towards the post here. It's been a little scrappy on the pick and go off the eight, though. He's just yep. struggling to get it up, up and off his feet and actually get moving. Yep. Uh, see if he can this time. He can link up with the other Ave, 13 there. Yeah, Nelly's gone into first receiver on the right. So the King, we know he can be direct outside. Something direct to Nelly might be the way to go. Something flat. So, Here one of I. Out of one. Looks to offload. Oh, really nicely done by Fulton here. Gets the turnover straight back. Oh, uh, Tommy Chadwick. No, it was. Chadwick it yeah. was. That was lightning quick, the Pilfer. Yeah, and that's the number seven coming out at him. Right on that ball, really quickly. Read it beautifully. Got over the ball and forced the penalty. And Arks not being able to capitalise on that field position. Avey, it was a good pick and go, but he didn't have any support. No one latched onto him. Still could have passed as well, goes both ways. Plumenhouse. Maybe the backs expected the call, this one's not out. Plumenhouse is having a bit of a barrier with the boot this afternoon. Gets away from Chadwick. Got to make sure of him on wet days. Good run by Sutherland. Arks now tail up, looking to go. Check inside. Curtin got a roll. Big seb in the way. Another advantage. Yeah, that's a silly mistake. Has to know. Chip and Kick chase. goes through. Oh. They were coming back. Seb Thorgson just not getting out of the way there at all. Plain as day. For young Michael just to ping him off his feet. So we'll go back now. So the penalty about 25 out, just to the left of the post. What do you reckon here, Nick? Do you think they should go to the corner here, or? Look, I'm a big fan. If you're going to get these penalties near the 22 all day, I'll be taking three points. Make it 10-10. Oh, they're going to go a quick tap. We saw this the other week with the Coastal Cavaliers. It ended up costing them in the end, not taking the points when it was on offer. Oh, Ooh, bit of a juggle. Spill. Manages to keep a hold of it, though. Still here for Arcs, entering the 22. That is Supson. Some good leg drives by him already early today. Now... right with a nice run oh, Joe hands. flicked off by King now Avey and a slight lock on there oh, we're going to go back again here mm. right in front of the sticks offside surely now that's three in a row let's come away with some points arcs it's, it's all going to come down to whether or not he got a number on this one I reckon Nick so again the skipper Fulton's going to have a chat Hard to give a yellow card on general offside, even if we've backed ourselves into the corner as a ref, though. Yeah. And this is where Arcs really need to just knock this over and take the three in my book. Start again. Welcome. The convert. Yeah, absolutely now. It's a wet, wet, greasy afternoon here at Harrisdale Park. If you're going to get penalties, down 10-7. Uh, they're going to tap again. So two pods set up. Phase one, tick. Big poorly. Oh, and penalty goes again. the other way, not releasing exactly what the arcs did in order. Oh, Fulton taps and goes. Inside the own 22. Interesting oh, charge, charge down. down. Play Kurt on. Recover. Oh, oh huge Becker. hit there. Hello. Nelly absolutely leading up the centres for Curtin there. Did not see him coming at all. Liam Becker has your ribs. Nelly of A cleaned him up. That could have paid off there for the Goats. Robbie Fulton saw there was no one home. Quick tap and go. And he was going to hoof it downfield. And it would have been a foot race then. Yeah. And even the charge down there, that was just a... If they could have just swung that ball quickly, I would have loved to have seen Nick Chadwick have a one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. So both teams just having a bit of a breather. Yeah, 
time off called by the referee. So again, just the back row and the injection of Tommy Chadwick as well as the Gerson. They're just putting pressure on the Arcs breakdown. They've, they've been rewarded with a couple of really good penalties. This as one, hits. interesting. Russell Burgess comes on the field now. Is it? Yep. Yep. The close to a 10 jersey he's ever been. Yeah, interesting, <laughs> that makeup there. Oh no, that'll be. Or is it not? Rusty? That's not Russell. Yeah, it look, looks a little bit say, small. Looks a bit skinny for Rusty. Yeah, a little bit, a uh, little bit off the top for Rusty as well. That one, that'll be Petra uh, Wayonu. So fresh legs at number eight for Arx. Manages to get the ball clear. Job centering it, for the king. With a little bit of room. Out of two. The beer is slippery. Still going. Plenty of room outside for Arcs now. Numbers are up. New man. Nagini. No, sorry, Wahonu. Straightens it up. King long, long one over the, over the top. Plenty of space out here for the hooker Russell. Bumps off one. Gets his way all the way to the corner. Russell's in the corner. That's a big strong run from your hooker. Yeah, Anthony Russell seagulling on the right wing. Gets the long ball from Regan King. And speed bumps little Nick Chadwick there and this plunges over. And he'll be stoked about that. Gets a bit of a cheer from the crowd here at Harrisdale Park. As Arcs finally get rewarded for their effort. And get the five points out in the right hand corner. Take him out to 12 points to 10. So, closing in on the half. And Arcs are going to be back in the lead. As the sun's come out again, down here at Harrisdale Park. A bit of weather that was in here earlier has moved on. Managed to not electrocute ourselves under the tent here with all the gear. Scott Wright. Now, just three metre, three or four metres in from touch, just outside the 22. Not an easy kick for him in these conditions. As we're now bathed in bright sunshine. And the goats just couldn't quite keep him out. There's the kick. Not a bad connection. And just pushes it to the right. Still a great defensive effort by Kurt. For yeah, good absolutely. Solid 15 yep. minutes there, I'd say. Yep character building stuff as they say Nick you know they were able to get a couple of good turnovers there they just weren't able to clear their half they just you know a couple of one good kick would have been just exactly yeah there's two that didn't make its way into touch yep then the charge down yeah Cullen House has got to get it right with the kicking. Set, set, set. that is a really nice kickoff in wet weather footy just recovered up by Arcs. So yeah. sort of just outside the 22. Just got to watch the angle there, right? Yeah. And the counter up comes because he's in a, he opened up the gate there. Wright's caused all that pressure himself. Oh, he's got him for. Oh, yeah, unlucky call that one. It's I think. Unlucky. It's gone early. I understand why. Now Arcs, plenty of speed out the right. That'll be Sunderland. No, sorry, that's right. Yeah, bundled up over the touch there. I think, uh, is it Fulton the skipper? Might be off the field at the moment. And that'll be half. All right, half time. So as we head into half time, Arcs managed just to get themselves back up. Uh, interesting second half going to be coming about for us here. Mitch, the Suns at least back out. Yep. Uh, where do you see this one going? Well, certainly um, interesting first half there. Curtin capitalising on a bit of time they spent in the Arcs 22 with that penalty goal and a nice little try to Nick Chadwick. But uh, Arcs, you know, they got they got the points on the board early and then spent a lot of time in that back end of that half putting pressure on the Goats outfit who defended pretty well. But uh, in the end, they were able to just not hold them out to the death. So Arcs 12, Curtin Uni 10 here at Harrisdale Park, half time. Um, certainly a tight tussle, but uh, Arcs just need to put it together then. And Curtin hanging on, they just need to be able to get a little bit of more, more ball out to their outside backs. Beautifully said, Mitch. We'll be right back with your second half of the Fortescue Premier Grade right after this. For our 
our Fortescue Premier Grade match of the round. Just about to get second half underway. Arcs up 12 points, Curtin University 10. And just waiting for referee Michael Ward to join us. Uh, just had a touchy in the bathroom. Oh, okay. Here yep. he comes now. On hey the uh, sideline, Peter. Matt. It's a bit cold. Off you go. We were just waiting for you to come back from the bathroom as we're ready to go now. Referees making their way out to the middle. Some other interesting games on this afternoon in the Premier Grade. Palmyra taking on Cottesloe. It's going to be a really close encounter. West taking on Kalamunda Bulls. UWA versus Coastal Cavaliers. Southern Lions versus Netherlands. Associates versus Wanneroo. And Junalup versus Bayswater. As the Goats get us underway, Cluen House. Really nice kick off there. Just bungled around a little bit though. Arcs still secured. And so now, the reserve 10 jersey, Wahani, slips into number 10. Plenty of Arcs players lined up here on the right, and that's yeah, where they man. go. Just oh, lost all the contact there. Curtin can straighten. Try and get the subs, the captain yeah. Fulton, off the field at the moment for the Goats. He's going to be a big loss to them. I'll try and get you that, that who that number 25 is. As we have the first scrum of the second half. Scrums are really nice in the first half for wet weather footy, I found. Yep, so number 25 is uh, standing out up at outside centre there, Rarasia. down for the first scrum. And Nick, that's going to be an interesting dynamic for this game. Fulton does so much good tackling for him in the midfield. And his leadership really does help this, this Goats outfit. It's organisation as well. It's handy to have someone chatting so much at outside centre, pulling the line into place, let alone his own individual efforts. The, uh, the Goats management need to get Rarasia some socks. He's wearing his, his best white ones out there at the moment. They look good. <laughs> I'll give him that. I think he's just got uh, calves that are not quite there with big poorly for you, but he's trying to show them off, trying to show that he's, he's also got big calves out on the field today. As we now get the feed from Curtin. Iago looks to go, wrapped up by the nine. Oh, not backwards arcs. No Robin. To our fresh ten and Ginu. Job. So maybe Ark's looking to play a double ten roll here in the second half. Job on the right, Wahano on the left. King gets to the outside. Really nice starting run by King up to the 40. Now, is space if they can make this one through the hands. Quick ball needed. Straight over the top is Ark's. Mahanu, back door. Almost through there. Into bay. Penalty arcs. Hands in the ruck there. So, good early chance for arcs to get down into the corner. Yep, arcs at the moment just getting those pods set to the left and right. You're going to use them to punch up either side of the ruck area. It's a lot better football from them. If I was them, I'd be regretting not taking a few points opportunities in that first half. Mm. They're really going to have to start this, this second half well to try and stamp some authority on the Goats. They did end up in front at the half, though. Yeah, 12 points to 10 on our scoreboard here at Harrisdale Park this afternoon. Up and two, safely one. Now that'll be Job. King of a uh, straight through. Really, really nice. Rarasia wrapped him up nicely though and straight on the ball. Referee's playing advantage. Go, 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 go. Nice little dart by the halfback then. Curtin under the pump early here. They're all up nicely though. They lost about four or five metres arcs on that play. allowing them to have a couple of cracks at the line here. But 
no, he brings it back now. So, Rarasia just a little bit high on that cover tackle on Ovey. So a couple of early penalties for Arcs. Gives him a good field position corner. here, and the, the old quick tap's coming out again. No surprises where this is going to. Spins one. Now, Waihu inside check. Just lost forward arcs. Curtin are going to come away with the turnover scrum. Big let off in pressure there early in the second half. Yeah, and that's where they just got to hold their depth a little bit, arcs. They're just putting pressure on themselves in these greasy conditions after those showers we had in the first half. avay has been getting himself involved with the game. The big number 22, trying to get some carries. King's just got to try and settle his pack down here and just get a little bit more organised. Go to their pods. Plenty of support. But the Goats just continue to hang in. As we've got a player down injured at the moment, it's going to just need a little bit of attention. It's been a pretty even contest up front this afternoon, Nick. The scrums have been pretty evenly contested. Uh, no team's dominated the other. No, not at all. I think Curtin have been saving their shove for Arks Ball. Uh, saw that in seconds and in thirds. I think that's a tactic by them as a club as a whole. Certainly they know they're down in size, down in weight, and they know they can hold their own. They know they've got good technique and posture. I've seen, certainly, this is an improvement on last year in scrummaging uh, for Kurt. So they've been working on technique a lot. They can hold their own. It's good to see, actually, in wet weather footy like this, not every single scrum going to ground, having to play away. Obviously, uh, Kurt would love to get a couple of wins up across this season. Really trying to build a good social atmosphere down there at the club at Curtin Uni. And the Goats have always been a good social club. Trying to take their rugby a little bit more seriously these days and recruit a few more players as the Gerson leaves the field, the number seven. He's had a good, strong game. He's contested it as, as many breakdowns as he possibly can. He's got a couple of good steals for his team. He's also given away a couple of penalties. But he hasn't, uh, he hasn't had a bad game this afternoon. And come out square in the coach's black book. So Tommy Chadwick will feed this one right in front of their, their post, the Goats here. Cluenhouse really needs to get some clean kicks away. His kicking's been a bit off. Only one back for Arcs as well. There is actually quite a bit of space they can take advantage of. Good scrum. Chadwick searching. Gets a deep penalty advantage offside here. Oh, here goes Chadwick. He's got some wheels. Mahani slips off one. Chadwick still going. Release him. Really nice support there by Kurt. Not going to leave him isolated. Tom Chadwick picks and goes. Goes again. Handy bit of refereeing there as well. A lot of refs will blow that penalty inside their own 22. Uh, Michael just spotting the gap. And they took it well. So Kurt, midfield now. Whoa, that's Double a Double back man. round, loose pass. That's a silly ball. Oh. Don't need your hooker throwing inside balls off the route. That was really untidy by the hooker for Kurt in that time. Becker didn't know what was going on. <laughs> I think he was trying to do a loop, but the, the execution was way off. Maybe Keegan just backs himself in the scrum, wanted to give the knock-on away. We'll pack another one down straight away. He must be loving the afternoon, Russell Keegan. Good pace for him. <laughs> and Becker, the number 12. Uh, but, yeah, that, that we saw a good little breakout by the Goats there. Nick Chadwick scooting up that left-hand side touchline. points to 10 arcs over Curtin University at the moment we're into the second half here at Harrisdale Park hosted this afternoon by the arcs club the Armadale Rolly Stone Kelmscott Cobb the support of live survival supplies Australia CD Dodds and President Alan Wood hosting us this afternoon for our round three clash as we get set here that's another great hit just working his way to the back now. Robson feeding out nicely. King gives another one. It's behind. He's playing a dual role here. Sometimes at 10. Oh, entry. Yeah. A little bit of niggle. Not happy about it either. Tommy Chadwick. 
getting in the face of his opposite number, Robson. Interesting to see that one again. Uh, Michael Ward's just going to have a chat to both teams. So no nonsense, thanks, boys. No. Don't need a niggle. The hooker, Keegan, having a bit of a giggle. <laughs> he finds the funny side of things, Russell Keegan. Whereas our number 10 back rower. <laughs> back rower, fly half. Mixed bag there. No. no. Let's have a bit of a chat. So, Klugenhaus, he was looking to put this ball somewhere as close as possible to the Arcs goal line. Gets a good connection on it. Finds touch about 25 metres out. That's better. Made sure of that one. So, the curtain line out. It's been functioning pretty well this afternoon. Let's have another change in the back line. Uh, up front. Yeah, Thompson Cross is going to have a break. He's had a strong game this afternoon. He's scrummaged really well. So, Curtin, up at two, just misses. Luckily, get it at the back, though. Big number eight, Agea. Straight up the middle, enters into the 22. Still going, gets taken down now. Advantage. Chadwick now. Can have a real crack at this one, Curtin. Now, got to secure their own ball here. Out to the right, they're all flat. Connection there, good strong D in the midfield from Mark. So I go back for the penalty and a chance to get back in front for Kurt. Yeah, right in front of the post here. I'll be taking the point straight away. That's yeah. what I like to see, you boys. 12 13. Still going to make the kick, but that's the correct call. Yeah, so we've got a couple of subs on now. <coughs> for Kurt. We've got two or three reserves on. So we've lost a couple of key players. Captain Fulton, one of them. But uh, obviously got a little bit of depth, Curtin, because they had a very good win in second grade this afternoon, Nick. You saw that game? Yep. So um, so hopefully there was a couple of guys there that stood out that can give these guys a bit of a boost coming into this second stanza of this second half. Yeah, and it's a really strong 15 they got out there at the moment. Not too many of these guys uh, played second grade. These all seem to be actually first grade reserves. Yeah. It's good to see that amount of depth. Yeah, a couple of freshies. It's always good. Blumenhaus now, right in front. Should be have no trouble knocking this over as I've just jinxed him. Yeah, look, I'm very presumptive on my 13-10 call about a minute and a half ago without a kick. There we go. But no Great trouble through. at all. Yeah. 13 points to 12. The Goats, a point in front now. Down here at Harrisdale Park. Smart footy, I like it. Our Fortescue Premier Grade match of the round. We're in round three of the competition so far this year. Both these teams coming off two defeats in the first two rounds. So both teams looking to notch up their first win of the season. And we've got a close contest on our hands. 13 points to 12 in favour of the Curtin University Goats. So King to restart us. Keegan Ball, oh, good hands by the hooker. Chadwick set up a gear. Curtin looked like there's a little fire lit under them now, organised in the back line. There they go. A little flat oh, a moment ago, now they're set. Oh, well, that is. Hello. Oh, Straight off the way, yeah. No choice but to give this one. Yep. Chadwick looking to get on with Just it. Just lazy by Avaya there. Asking questions, uh, yeah, as he normally will. Just got trapped in there there's no way he was going to get out of that the referee that time having no choice but to give the penalty there's a lovely little ball to Agawa that time mm. so the curtain goats have got their tails up at the moment Blumen House Good right connection. chasing just to make sure yeah nice kick from him takes play inside the arcs 22 so curtain university goats back on the attack I think the play from curtain here get this center field again draw another penalty Right out here in the midfield. Agaya, we're going to look to him, no doubt, to try and truck it up. Nice forward front ball. Take it down. Chadwick just manages to get away, knock back. Almost obstruction as well. 
Just need to settle, don't panic oh, now. High, high tackle. Yeah, right exactly what the they want. They can still play with it. No one home behind. Although it was all forwards out on the right here. Can realise they've got it. Oh, not coming out of that one there. I'm just thinking now, this is the time of the game where they've had back-to-back -back penalties in this part of the, the field too, even though they're doing different discretions. No, you don't want to have a chat to them, Nick. No, don't get too keen on yourself. You're only one point in Come front. Come on, we can... We can somehow get someone and in the called the points. <laughs> no, and they've called the points. If we keep taking points, we can still get a yellow card. Don't worry about that. All right. Uh, well, Kluwenhouse, he's, his kicking has been pretty good this afternoon. This one's about 25 out right in front. Similar spot to where he just nailed one. Just a little bit more mustard on this one, and it'll be straight over the bar. And the Arcs team, just, just a little lacking a little bit of discipline. Mm. A couple of unlucky penalties for not rolling away. If it, that time, just slipping up a little bit high. There's one thing I've learned in refereeing, there's uh, no unlucky off feet. <laughs> you end up off your feet for a very specific reason, and that's your body position. So, Cluin House, again, nice little nudge from him. Knocks it through. Beautiful kick. And the Curtin University Goats extend their lead out now. 16 points to 12. Arcs uh, are going to have to secure possession for a good five, six minutes here, work their way back up the field. It's early days yet, mm. only in the first first moments of this second half. Plenty of good rugby to come out here. And the change of kicker here. King's sacked himself as the restarter. After two very nice kickoffs. Maybe this one going for a little more height. No depth. They want to lock him back in their I'll own tell half. Tell you what, that might be too big. Oh no, it's kicked the stands up on its end. Well he has time. Didn't need to kick so early. Just lands 45 from his own line. Avea's back, ready to charge. This could be really dangerous. It's beaten three, beaten four, now brought to ground just inside, about 10 metres out from the line. Job clearing quickly. King shows, oh, goes through. once. On the wing, just got his crack inside one. So we're 10 out. Sorry, about six out. I think we've got advantage there. Oh, oh no. Penalty comes their way, though. Now, they're still on a team warning from first half. Is that right, Nick? Might just be a refresh, yep. but it's good awareness by Ward not to let him slip, get two or three more and go back to a warning. Yep, Russell Keegan, the, the captain, while Thornton's off the field. So he's just going to say, you guys had one in the first half, now it's going to stand for the second, and the two pods form up for a tap. Oh, I'd love to see the right points get taken the, back. Right in front of the sticks. You've lost the lead by having points taken, now you're not going to take them back. Oh well, they made their bed. Once again, the transitional fly half is now taking it up. Oh, oh huge shove from Ave. Just don't argue from him. And turned over, is it? Yep, knocked it on. One thing, but one thing, be able to palm blokes off and put them on their backsides. You got to still be able to hang onto the ball. Got to get to ground. Got to place it back for your team. And again, points go begging for arcs, as does possession. So they're their own worst enemies at the moment. I think you got to be silly to not take the points on a day like today. Call time off as uh, Avey gets a bit of attention. So Curtin University 16, Arcs 12. The Goats would love to get an away win under their belts this afternoon. Mm. They've pretty much used most of their bench already, so they're going to have to rely on the guys, the 15 guys out there. And Arcs have just got to string a bit of play together here and just try and get a bit of continuity. Yeah, they got themselves positioned. Curtin, you'd think probably going to clear kick this one. Uh, maybe one pod first, get themselves a little closer to the touchline, but Arcs are certainly going to have another chance coming back in from their own 40, uh, from, sorry, from Curtin's own 40 with a line-out ball. If they can just piece together, I don't know, six, seven phases, work their way back in, they might pull another penalty. It's not good news at the moment, though, with Big of A down. No, they certainly don't want to lose him at this point of the game. He's got given them all their go forward. He's uh, getting a bit of an HIA test. Yeah, a think. little finger waggle just in front there. <laughs> and Michael Ward's got to make the call there. So he's still got the blue card in play. Yeah, blue here. cards in the pocket, blue yeah. cards in the pocket. Okay, well, uh, we try not to step in yep, too early it. with it. It's just for the shocker. We need to just make sure that we're not having a player liable out there. I think Avo's moved to the front row, has he? Yeah, he has. Dangerous. Packing in at tight head prop. Mm. Oh no, we said. 
No, he's at the loose head side there. And our utility 10 at the back. Fine! Set! Yeah, oh. that's just a little bit early, Curtin. That's a silly mistake. Captain go, Robson. Straight through. Just short. One big pick and drive here and we're through. Waihu, got to go deep. Oh. Settling just towards the line now. That one's got to be close. Pick and go. Referee's got to get round to see these. Got to get in goal. There's going to be a short grounding there. That's half a metre. Oh, he's now turned it over. over. Look out, break out here. Chadwick hacks it clear. away. Just oh, into touch. Jeez, I would have liked to see Tommy Chadwick slip that to Tom right there. So again, arcs. Jeez, that must have been very, very, very Had close to, to getting a the there, five yeah. points there. And again, just turning the ball over. As we see here, just pulling up half a metre short of the line. Bigger Bay. As the next pick and drive comes, just gets rolled the wrong way. Pick and uh, pick. Yeah, literally just a straight turnover. I think he lost the ball in contact. So arcs with the throw. Goats will be looking to put pressure on this line out. Got to be up at one. One, two over the back, not yeah. straight. Yeah, it's good good play by the Curtin University line out there. Putting pressure on the throw by getting that man up nice and early in the front. Austin Connolly at the front there. And now Curtin University with the feed. They'll be looking to have to play a little bit of field position here. Mm. Maybe you look at pumping it down into that There's left a bit of a hand back corner. Right corner. Yeah. Full back for Arcs looking into the sun. If I can get something that can get a little bit of width and Hopefully use that little bit of space in behind the arcs back line. Yeah. Very flat. Yeah, I'd like to see De Beer Fine. just drop a little bit here. He's a little shallow. He can get kicked out all around the park. Back left is the call. Chadwick's out there on the wing too. Good kick yeah. and him chasing. So Suckling takes it on himself. Marisoya out of one. Oh, really nice run. It's dragged down. Still on to exit here. Oh, pick and go. Isolated. Isolated. Oh, it spills out. It spills out. Lucky, not a classic turnover, but it'll come nonetheless. Curtin win it back, though. Oh, they need Almost. to kick this. They need to get this out of there. There's half. plenty of space. Pick and go. Back's got to swing back around to the right now. Pick and go again. It's good steady phases, but yeah, you're, gonna, you're not going to advance your position too much down here. The kick comes oh. just off the side of the boot. That's a stinker. So they saw the option. <laughs> They're not not listening. Uh, he tried to <laughs> manufacture something yeah. for his left foot there. It's not great execution. And that's where just if, if a club like Curtin Uni, if they just had a quality 10 that could just steer around the park a little bit more, you know, be able to get that field position, set up play for them, they would be a different outfit and they'd get a lot more Ws in the wing column. Exactly. Um, you can see the, the way Regan King plays for the Arcs team. Like he's, he organises and... He's good at having a dart himself. Mm. Again, pressure on the arcs line out. They win it. Oh. It'll be Job. Avey. Oh, big man. Nice little inside run. Only manages to get back to the uh, advantage line anyway. But recycling well. Numbers. Really can use this well. Got to go. That'll be Devere down the wing. Smashing hits by it's Kurt. Nice 14, right Sutherland in the corner. The referee's seen it. Michael Ward, he's called it. Ball down first. Sutherland in the corner. Yeah, absolutely. It was a lovely little ball. They got away there. And Adam Sutherland had a little bit of work to do, but he got there in the end. It was a good little break down the left-hand side touchline. It's Devere. Got a great cover tackle. It was a lovely little offload. And yeah, Solomon was able to in. dot it down over in the corner. And Arcs finally get their try that they've been searching for. Didn't come from that pick and go. And the big boys up front, it came from their fleet footed backs out wide. And that'll bring the score up to 17 16. So the left winger, Adam Sutherland, gets his five points for the afternoon. And it all came from a poor kick from the Curtin Goats team. Yeah. And then, obviously, there's the sequent line out and the great charge from Avey through the middle set it up so they had the numbers out on the left here and it was just a, a good little injection from De Beer, the fullback. 
Geez, hard to stop when he gets going, isn't he? Yeah, he's done some nice runs this afternoon. Mm. So this is where Arcs, if they're smart, they should try and put the foot on the throat and really go back at Curtin hard again as the well, kick is just to the left. But Arcs now nudge themselves ahead on the scoreboard. 17 to Arcs, 16 to Curtin University in our Fortescue Premier Grade match of the day here at Harrisdale Park. Curtin Uni Goats just got to gather themselves a little bit. They've had a good first opening 20 minutes of this second half. So Kluwenhaus goes short into the sun. Good shape. Secured well by Curtin. There. Ooh, big hit. With hay rolling over oh, the top. Avai and now off feet. Ooh. Just flop straight. I think he's in absolutely there. killed the ball there. Yeah, <laughs> luckily Michael Ward has picked up on it late. I think yeah. the call came across from Matthew Longbottom on the side. Uh, sorry, not Longbottom. Uh, Matthew Vanderhey on the side. Yeah, yeah. Vay just flopping straight in there. Michael Ward not get, he hasn't got a choice there, Nick. He's got to give that a penalty. There's only one way that ball was coming out on arcs and it wasn't legally. So Kluwenhaus puts the ball into the corner about 10 metres out. Nice kick. Oh, no, five out from the Arcs goal line. So wonderful attacking opportunity for Curtin Uni now. And again, Arcs just giving away those penalties at crucial times of the game. So we've seen Curtin predictably off the top most of the time today. Yep. Do they have a crack this time or are we sticking to the game plan? No, I think they'll go off the top again. Oh, over the top. At least they bring it to ground, tackle made, get this midfield, get another penalty. Oh, oh inside great ball. inside ball. Oh, yeah, a little knock on. Yeah. Yep. Crowd saw it. Crowd didn't miss that one, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> that was a nice little inside ball there for mm. Agawa. So, Arcs, a bit of a let off for them. Haven't had to kick in a while. No, I, I, I don't think they need to. I, mm. I think they could probably keep the ball in hand from this. I know it's just outside their goal line, but they could probably keep the ball in hand here. Look at go up that right-hand side line, and if Regan King gets himself in a bit of trouble, he can put it on the toe then. But uh, I do like you should be trying to play 8, 9, 15s or 8, 9, 12s mm. or as much as you can when you've got centre field scrums. It's good on paper. Up by one, that's risky fire, risky games to play, I mean, though. Here we go. Okay, kick comes. Yeah. Good talk. Really nice talk. Just keeps it in. Cluing house. Just gets wrapped up between the two arcs players there. Oh, that one's lost, lost forward it. again. So net positive arcs. Can they use it? No, gone forward as well. So it's gone both ways. We'll come back for the scrum to arcs. And they've exited very safely in the end. Yeah, nice little talk from Regan King that time. Cluing house. Made a bit of a meal about it. <laughs> dropped it the first time. Gathered. Got tackled. Dropped it in the tackle. So they can't afford to make those basic errors, Curtin University. Every time they get themselves in a good position in this game, they just let themselves down through some poor errors. So Arcs will, again, just slightly make their way out of their half here. I like the idea of maybe putting one into this lower left-hand corner in front of the clubhouse here. Just turn the Curtin University guys around a little bit. Again, a good scrum from the Curtin Uni as they get away. Penalty advantage there now. So we've got their high tackle. I believe so. And that'll be final warning for foul as well. So Curtin, just got to be careful. They're still in this game. The yellow card will swing that momentum pretty quick. So Arc 17, Curtin Uni 16. Just a bit. Simple pops, nudge. Pops it over. Not much angle to work with there. No. So a short, shorter line out. Five man. Avey out in the centres. Arcs. 
couldn't afford napping on the mall setup. It's a good six, seven meters there initially. Yeah, now ball fed. Job. Get up in the middle, Upson. Oh, he's lost it. Turnover. Now Curtin. Scrambled opportunities. Just got to get to ground, get over here. And turnover coming almost again. Lost forward in contact. Mark's ah, really getting up and about now. Yeah, the Curtin University players protesting there. Mm. But uh, Lagaya, I think it was, that lost the ball in the contact. A good little carry from him. You've got uh, Michael Ward getting plenty of help from the Arcs bench there on that knock on. Uh, you won't scare him. He hasn't done a bad job this afternoon, the young fella. No, only a second, uh, second, sec first grade cap this afternoon. Made his debut last week. He's a handy young ref, yeah, he's got years left in him. Well, he hasn't missed too much. And he's, he's given the right penalties at the right time, so. He's given warnings when needed to be. Oh, good hands. Numbers. Oh. Just couldn't get that one to hand. King's got a reset. Pushes it downfield. Chadwick now. Has to work a lot hard. Of work to do. Looks heads up. Besides, he backs himself around the corner. Chavik tied up, not held. Play on that one. Just a little bit high. Hand was over the top though. Wasn't around the neck. Came over on the opposite shoulder. So we'll play on. So big unit on the big unit. Oh, he's straight through. All the way through. Got to get the hands off now. Oh, he's get over him. the top, help him yeah. out. Yeah. Now Play it's got to be a warning here for Arks as well. Yeah, we'll come back. Just grabbed yeah. him around the top of the collar there, which is... Just got to be careful. Bit of sling involved there. We've already had a warning for Curtin. As the referee's going to uh, call out the skipper. It's a tackle. I know there's no intent there, but that seat belt slipping off. Managing the game pretty well there. It was a great little run. Mm. Right up, it was a big man on the big man. And Lagaya has uh, certainly had a good work rate this afternoon for the big fella. He's had a couple of good carries. He's worked hard. Ambitious, but we're having a shot. Oh, long range penalty goal. This is a big shot now, yeah. 38, 39 metres. Crucial part of the game. Could have probably popped it into the corner there, but. I think the key I here think, is... I think that some of the bigger boys out there probably need a bit of a breather. Key here is kick it big. Even if you miss, this has got to go dead. Yep. Then you're going to get the ball back. Well, there's not much breeze to speak of now. Not anymore. So he's hit them pretty well this afternoon, Cluen House, as far as the goal kicking is concerned. So you'd like to think he should be able to at least put this one dead. <coughs> he's going to have to put a chase on the goats. They can't be complacent. Uh, they look ready to fire. Steadies. Go up by two. It's a clean strike. Looks good. Yep. Wow. Yeah, nice strike from him. So the Goats wrestle back the lead once again. 19 points to 17. And we're in for a tight finish this afternoon. Gee, Cluing House is up and about. He's up and about in the back of his oh, head as well. He loved that one, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. So, Fortescue Premier Grade matches around, is living to its name. Battle of two games here, take the points versus Wolf score tries. 19 points to 17. Oh, they've let that bounce. Yeah, it's going to waste a bit of time. Oh, Cluing yeah. us, now he's pinned. It's Excellent. not out. Take. Oh, he's the big unit. Us. He started Sets running deep. from his 22, have they? <laughs> Bang! Nagani takes the challenge as well there. Job. Now for King. Oh, ball, Chadwick ball, intercept. Ball. Chadwick They're not going to catch away. him. He's going to go all the way under the sticks. Oh, massive game changer there. Nick Chadwick gets his second for the afternoon. Was standing in the back backline, and Regan King picked him out beautifully. Yeah, King just didn't need to go that extra pass there. They were working their way well. 
Oh, the curtain goats. That's going to be massive. And all the time of the world, the Arcs, after a big run by Havai, and Regan King just picking him out beautifully, standing in the Arcs' back line. Going to be about 10, 12 minutes left as well. Oh, that's a massive play this afternoon. And with a kick to come from right in front, you'd like to think the way Cluenhouse is going, he'll pop this one over as well. Yeah, you'd hope so. He'll take the scoreline out to 26 points to 17. Nine-point game if he gets it. So the Arcs are really going to have to crank it up. Coach Daryl Prince, he's out in the field with the clipboard in hand, talking to his players. You probably need to get off the field, Daryl. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be really excited right now. This is a big upset if Curtin can get over the top of Arcs. Yeah, they really want to walk away with the points here. So he's knocked that one over, Cluenhouse. He's had a good day with the boot. 26 points to 17 now, and the Curtin University Goats are up. They're up and about. So it's all back on Arcs now. Well, they do. Might have to look short this time off the kick. They have squandered a mountain of possession this afternoon, Arcs. They've taken quick taps when they could have taken the points. So now they've got it all to do as they go long again. The big unit's going to take this one. Oh, Kluenhaus. Oh, dear. Left it behind. Scrambles a kick away. Knocked backwards the call. And he's made sure of it right on top of the scaffolding. Oh, it's just, just, just that suspect late hit on him too, Kluenhaus. He's claiming the late hit. Jeez, your heart's in your mouth when you cough that one up. Strikes is when you got that run of the play. Would have liked to see the number eight. Just have a little hit okay, up. Yeah, he yeah. probably should have hit, it up, hit that one up and just brought play towards with 22 so you can get a decent exit. Yeah. They're going to give you the rugby league kickoff. You've got to answer with that rugby league shoot. Yep. Here we go. Arcs now on the attack. So, a big the big man. Midfield. Who else? Well taken. Now, what have they got out wide here, King? Got three options. Yeah, put it down again. Dear, oh, dear me. It's two from King in a row. He's had a good game so far. That's just two passes in a row letting him down at the moment, though. Yeah, it probably wasn't that bad a pass, to be honest. Sutherland was just reaching for it. You know, he wasn't... He just he floated out in front. I think he was expecting someone to actually hit the ball at speed and straighten mm. up the attack. Um, and they're all just crabbing across the field. And, yeah, that time... No good again. Own worst innings this afternoon, Arcs. Southern on that time, coughing it up. So now the Goats, they really need a strong exit here. Mm. There's plenty of space at the back. De Beer's very dangerous though from broken play. They don't want to kick down his throat. They want to be able to find some space, get a good chase on. We've got Rarasi out here on the right. The Standing more they can play this half, the rest of this game out of their own uh, half yeah. is better. Get it down here in this right-hand corner. Cluenhouse at first receiver, kick straight away. This is going to land about halfway. Oh, Just bounces into touch, not hasn't a, cleared. Geez, not a great kick. Not in open place. <laughs> good, thank goodness he's a good goal kicker. <laughs> They're all outside of the boot, though, so that's the thing. He could, if he just shapes his technique a little bit more, yeah, gets yeah. that off the laces or the inside of the boot, would yeah. fix a lot for him. Yeah. Tell you what, there's a bit of space, though, out here on the right. If you just thumped it downfield, mm. the race was on. Make the tackle, you can get another penalty. So Arcs with the throw in the line out. The line out's slowly getting things together this afternoon. Tuzzy! Out of the front. Good chuck by Russell. Hard contact on the floor there. Bodied up here in the midfield there. Good tackle. Holding him up. Ooh, oh, he's got the steal well. as well. Oh, and then he's lost it. Sloppy play, Arcs. King now. Broken his play. Better pass this time. Really nice oh. hands. Gibbons on the wing just lets that one go. Yeah, play on. Play on here. Kluenhaus puts it down. That's field. better by here Kluenhaus. Here we go. Let's chase. Put a good chase on here. Really nice kick. Lots of pressure now. Work together, Kurt. Work together. No, you got oh. two on one, the man with the ball. Yeah, Oh, is that out? Oh, That's just out. The winger there from Curtin, who was that? I own right. Needed to help with Kluenhaus there. Two and one, the man chasing the ball. Yeah, and that just comes from good communication on yeah. the chase, Nick. They just need to communicate with each other and double team the, the king then and force him to kick it mm. or even just make the tackle. But they spread themselves out as they came 
tried um, to go one and one. Inside the 22. Yeah. And it's just, that's just poor chase. You've just got to communicate a bit better. And that'll come. Yep. So another short line out. Four man this time. I know, five man. Kurt secure. Back door. Steve playing for territory really well yeah, now. Smart little kick, kept the ball on the ground. The beard, not much choice but to kick it. That one's going to be just out as well. Yeah, he's just out. It's a good kick by the beard. Good positioning from him. Smart footy from the goats. Yeah, I like this change in strategy, that's for sure. Just get it, just get it down. Anytime you get the ball, get it down. Let's not play in our half. Let's get the win. Mm, so I've got about probably, we're inside the last 10 minutes. So probably, mm. you know, just outside of five minutes to go in this half. Arks have got to score twice. They've got to score quick. Goats, Chadwick taps it on. Yeah. Go okay, out. One, two. Carries well. Pod being called out right by Agar. Way bit of a wild pass from Tommy Chadwick that time. Still gets it, gets wrapped up. Good J defense, King. Now Kurt just settle out of time. That's nice. Gotta watch your timing here, Arx. You don't need a penalty. Agar again. Strong game from him. To ground. Oh, hands. Surely. No. Don't know how that can be a knock on when you've got a tackler around the ball. That's a close one. Avea. We know he's a pest out. around the ruck at halfway. Oh, King, nice, nice little kick. kick. Beer. Sits up for him. Oh, he sits yes. over in the greasy conditions. Becker's on him. He's all over Gee, that Becker ball. Becker had a good crack, but he's off his feet now. Yeah. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> just when you think Arcs are just going to cut them to ribbons, they don't go do something like that. Uh, they had good field position there, good turnover. Oh, De Beer was away there. That ball set up beautifully yeah. for him. Just slipped when he went to step. Time off. Well, Becker was, I thought he had the steal there, but he, you're right, Nick, he just yeah. lost his feet. And then he turned it over himself and then Arx had the numbers out wide. They didn't need to throw the long balls. I've seen really that a bit today from Arx where they've gone the cutout. Uh, when maybe the draw and pass, draw and yep. pass is the way to go. Yeah, it's negated they too wide early. Negated any advantage that they might have had by having the extra men by throwing those long loopy passes. Mm. And they've certainly missed a vase. And ne Nelly Avey, since he's been off, they've sort of missed his presence in the midfield. Yeah. He was looking very dangerous there, different parts of the game, and his combination with Regan King in the midfield was looking ominous there a few times, but they just haven't been able to convert on that. And they're probably just lacking a little bit of depth in the forwards arcs, whereas Kurt and Uni Goats have worked really hard. The hooker in particular, Keegan mm. and Lagea, the number eight, Austin Connolly, he's had a busy game this afternoon as well. He's only a small bloke, but he's certainly been busy. Lachlan Costello, the other lock out there. He's been good in the air. So Chadwick feeds in at halfway. And Another tiny go. scrum. Nagaya goes himself. Oh, yeah. Nice oh, ball. Really nice hands. Got to get over the top nice and early there. Counter up comes. He can get it out, though. Gee, the more this game goes on, I think that has to be Russell. <laughs> I think that is Russell Burgess out there in the 10. Looks different this season. He's looks like he's lost a little bit of weight. A little weight. Lost a little bit of hair as well, Rusty. Didn't want to say it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the Goats, they're on the attack here, just outside the 22. They've got to play with a bit of patience now, not do anything silly. Oh, oh no. Crouching hit from the two big men at arcs. Oh, and they get the, the turnover. Penalty. Big team up there by Fiu and uh, Carson. Robson's going to have to go here, and yeah, off they go. Gotta push quick. Wide. To Joe, Joe to King. King got to Beer. To Beer oh, could have. That's oh, still back through the hands. Play play on. On. Gibbons. Good tackle. Oh, what's coming here? Hang on. Is that a TJ call, you reckon? AR call? Oh, it's pretty marginal either way. I'm happy for that to be a forward pass. Oh, I think that's a bit of a tough call. It's a difficult one. He, was, he would have probably been a little bit obstructed there too. He would have seen the ball bobble up. Yeah. And he wasn't quite sure whether the ball actually touched the other winger. 
before the beer regathered it. So, you know, and that's been the story of Ark's afternoon, isn't it? Looked yeah. dangerous again. You thought they were going to get away, and then a bit of poor handling. It was a lovely cover tackle with RC anyway, so Curtin would have had the line out. So, fine with Ark's. They're all three grades as well. They're exciting to watch and play, but um, you, see, you tend to see that first or second phase, they get the line break, and they think they have to score that phase. They don't take it to ground with the wings. They don't set up some other form of attack. They always have to score that play, and it just ends up in a knock-on on days like today. Yeah, Curtin Uni this time being a little bit sloppy. And Ark's now another opportunity to get back in this game. Oh, no, no. Backwards play on. Almost the first error really in handling. Oh, yeah, Ruff is go, quick there. tap. Russ up the middle. Just got to watch. Yeah, just coming off feet. Their entry's fine. Just working off their feet, Curtin. That's another penalty advantage. Oh, slip over in the midfield. Oh, now opportunity of Regan King. Got to go it. now. Tommy Chadwick that time. Keep the cars can in just the go pocket. The can just go they got to keep going. They got to keep going here, Arx. Time is against them. We're in the dying moments of this match. Rusty Burgess. Oh, inside ball. Again, good defence from Curtin Uni. Straight over the top. This time, surely, yeah, yeah Curtin, get that's a lot better. Just too quick that time and had a really positive body position over the ball there. Fortunately, I can't give you that player's name because he's come off the bench, jersey number 26, but he certainly had a good impact this afternoon. He's worked hard in the breakdown and the Curtin Uni bench has certainly made a big difference today. The, you know, they could have really um, turned their tails up when they lost their skipper, Fulton. Um, early in this, early in the in the piece, so the bench they really come well for him, and they've tried their hearts out this afternoon. The goats, and I'd really like to see them get the chocolates here this afternoon. 26 points to 17. We've got a nine-point buffer as Connolly goes up in the middle. Nice to Danagane. Look to centre. It's been a good role for him today. Oh, it's been excellent. We'll go forward, Avay. Avay just lined in there again. Yeah. Lucky to come away with that. Uh, sorry, without a penalty against them. And that's oh, got to be side. See, it's really negative body position held there by Arx. They've come up with the turnover, but gee, that's a bit harsh on Curtin. They've come through on the side, laid on top of it, just as it comes out. Ooh, really discounted any type of contest. And a couple little bit of handbags after there. Yeah, I think Tommy. Chadwick's a little bit out of his depth there. Time's off. So Michael just want to gain some control back here again. Yeah, big Kalawi Fuu giving Tom Chadwick a little bit of don't argue on the ground there. Had a couple of cracks at him. And Tommy's good at making a pest of himself in the breakdown too. Like he's he plays like a number seven. Mm. He's done a pretty handy job as, at number nine for the Curtin University side this afternoon. He's had a busy game. His passing's been pretty good. His passing's been fine. Yeah. And he's just done his job, but he's worked hard in defence as well and be able to put pressure at that breakdown. So as the assistant referee just comes in and does a bit of a report, I'd imagine the penalty will go against Arcs here for going on with it. If you had to take your pick from one of the big men today, would you take a Gaia or would you take a Bayer? Oh, the Gaia, because I, I think he's, he's just... He's always made himself available. He's, he's had sensible options. He's had a couple of good offloads. Where the Bay is just been a little bit one out for me, mm. and he has turned the ball over a number of times in the contact situation. A little more individual. So, yeah. yeah. So the big number three. He's just going to have a bit of a chat. I don't think there's anything sinister in this one. It's just losing his temper a little bit. There's no point in getting too upset about things. I think we we've had a pretty good game this afternoon. Michael Ward's done a good job controlling both teams. He's yeah. fiddling with the zipper. Oh, no, here we go. Oh, that's disappointing to end the afternoon with the yellow card for the big man. Certainly just losing his temper there at the breakdown and probably didn't deserve a yellow card, but... Still was three or four shoves on the floor. It's, yeah, it's, not, a, it's not your classic red card, but uh, it's one nonetheless. 
And that'll be full time. As the players just make their way, They're just watching the yellow card exit the field there, just yeah. wanted to make sure he got off safely. So it's full time in your Fortescue first grade uh, clash of the afternoon. Arcs go down 17 to 26. Uh, really a good win by Curtin. They've come down, they've picked up the candy. Uh, they've played a full 80 minute game. They lost their captain early in the piece, but they've been keen just to wrap up the game and make sure they take the biggies here. It's a good win all round. Mitch, who you got your 3-2-1 on? Yeah, certainly Lagarde, the number eight for Curtin University. Had a really strong game this afternoon. Uh, likewise, the lock for the Goats was excellent. Tommy Chadwick had a really busy game. Uh, a double for Nick Chadwick out there this mm. afternoon, especially that intercept was a big part of the game changer. But uh, the Curtin University, University Goats, they took the points when they were off, off for this afternoon. Clue in the house knocking over all those penalties and his conversions. And, and to me, that was a big difference. Arcs not taking the opportunities to take the points when they could and just squandering a lot of possession as well throughout the afternoon. So uh, deserved winners this afternoon. The Goats, they'll be really chuffed about that. They'll uh, be able to go back to the clubhouse this afternoon, uh, this evening and celebrate a couple of wins with first grade and reserve grade getting up. So it's been a, a good afternoon out here at Hosedale Park and uh, thoroughly enjoyed the, uh, the match of the round. Yeah, no, it's been fantastic afternoon out here. Only that one spot of rain. And I've said it once, I'll say it again. When you're, when you're right in front, you take the points, Mitch. I'm a big fan of it. I'm an old school fan. Uh, and clearly it's worked today. It's been two tactics going up against each other. As we've said, Curtin go up 26-17 uh, to 17 against the Arcs. Uh, we'll, br we'll bring back uh, next week. Do you know match of the round next week? Not off the top of my head, no. Not I don't. off the top of my head. No, I've forgotten <laughs> it this week. Uh, but we'll catch yeah. everyone next week for another match of the round. We'll see you for the fourth grade, first grade uh, match of the week.